One of the challenges of making homemade donuts is that it's usually dense and greasy. But this recipe makes for a perfect soft and fluffy donuts that are not greasy and they are airy with sugar coating. It makes the donut melt in your mouth. I will be sharing with you guys tips and tricks on how to make the perfect donut. Hello, beautiful family. Welcome back. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, please smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified of all my new videos. And thank you to all my returning subscribers. So now let's get cooking. Here are the list of ingredients, two and a half cups of all purpose flour, two and a half tablespoon of butter at room temperature, one third cup of sugar, half tablespoon of instant yeast, one large egg, 175 ml milk, quarter teaspoon of salt, neutral vegetable oil for deep frying, and one cup of sugar for coating. The list of ingredients will be in the description box below. In a large bowl, crack in egg, add in milk, sugar, yeast, and stir to combine. The yeast must not melt. I'm using instant yeast here. But if you're using active dry yeast, you have to proof it first. Stir just until combined. The yeast must not necessarily melt. Then you add in your flour, salt, and mix with a spatula. Mix everything until you form a dough. This will take about two minutes. Your dough should be tacky. And not firm if it is firm you might need to add a little water at a time maybe a tablespoon at a time because the density of our flour varies your dough should be tacky as seen in the video then cover and rest for 15 minutes after 15 minutes add in your room temperature butter and incorporate it into the dough if your butter isn't soft enough you can microwave it for about 5 or 10 seconds to soften it please note we are not using melted butter here we are using softened butter it will take roughly about four minutes to incorporate the butter into the dough once the butter has been fully incorporated into the dough then you transfer your dough onto a clean work surface and knead for about 15 to 20 minutes the dough is a bit tacky right now that's the consistency we want but after we finish or properly kneading it, that won't be the case. I will knead the dough until a smooth and elastic stretchy dough is achieved. If you're going to be using a stand mixer, it's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. To know if you've properly kneaded your dough, do a window pane test. You should be able to stretch the dough and if it doesn't tear up easily, then it is properly kneaded. The dough should be stretchy like this, as seen in the video. Once our dough is properly kneaded, we'll form it into a bowl shape, and then we'll lightly grease our bowl, place the dough in it, and coat every part of the dough. Cover and let it rise for one to two hours, or until doubled in size. This depends on the temperature of your kitchen. After proofing, punch the dough to get rid of excess gas. Place on a work surface and form into a bowl. Then divide into six equal parts. Pick each piece and form into a small bowl by tucking in the edges inwards until a smooth round bowl is formed. Pinch the edges or ends until there are no cracks. Then place the pinch side facing downwards on the parchment paper and cover with a clean kitchen towel so it doesn't dry up. We are using a parchment paper to prevent us from touching the dough again with our hands after it has proved. So placing on parchment paper is important, but if you don't have a parchment paper, you can try as much as possible to handle your dough carefully so that you don't deflate the gas already built in, in the dough. Continue to shape all the dough like so. I will be making two different shapes of donuts. Three will be round, while three will be the regular donut shape without a donut cutter. I will be using a tiny bottle cover to cut out the center of my dough 
to give me the regular doughnut shape. Place the sealed side of the dough downwards and gently press down. It should not be totally flat. Then you use your cover to press down to be able to get the hole in the center of the dough and pull out the center piece. Repeat the same thing for the remaining two. To cut out the center, you have to apply some pressure. You press down. Try as much as possible to place your cutter in the center of the dough. The thickness of the dough should be about 2 cm. If you have a doughnut cutter, well that's even better because it's going to be much easier. You just roll out your dough and use your doughnut cutter to shape out your dough. Place your shaped dough on your kitchen counter and cover for second proofing. The second proofing is going to be for one hour. So this is what our doughnut looks like after proofing for one hour. To deep fry, we'll need about three inches deep of oil. Heat up oil to 360 degrees Fahrenheit if you have a thermometer. But if you don't have, it should be on medium heat. Now pick the parchment paper with the dough on it and place it in the frying pan. After 10 seconds, take out the parchment paper and then turn the doughnut while frying. Keep stirring and turning after every 30 seconds. If your doughnut hole is closing up, since we didn't use a doughnut cutter, you can always put your skewer and turn it round to enlarge the hole. Please do not overcrowd the pan as it will absorb too much oil and be greasy. It takes about two to three minutes to fry the doughnut on each side. When placing your dough into the oil, please be very careful not to splash oil on yourself and also while turning it, you also have to be very careful with the oil so that you don't burn yourself. The oil shouldn't be too hot, please. If it's too hot, you're going to have air pockets on your doughnuts and they will brown too quickly. The temperature of, of the oil shouldn't be too low as well. That will make your doughnut absorb too much oil, making it greasy. Please note, the heat of the oil really plays an important role. To be able to get the ring round your doughnut, you can also always regulate the heat by reducing or increasing the flame. If you do not have a thermometer like me here, keep repeating the same process until you fry up all your doughnuts. Now look at this. This is fried to perfection with the ring round it. Now you all should look at this beauties. Fresh homemade donuts. These donuts are fried to perfection, as you all can see. It's so light and airy with a sweetness that's just too good. These fresh, hot homemade donuts are truly an amazing treat. You really can't get anything better. The sugar coating makes the donut melt in your mouth. To preserve these, these can stay fresh in an airtight plastic zipper bag or airtight container or a foiled paper on your kitchen counter for one to two days or in the fridge for three to four days. So now let me show you guys how soft and fluffy and airy these donuts are. Take a closer look at it and see for yourself. As you all can obviously see, this donut is not dense at all and is also not greasy. It is very fluffy and airy. Now take a look at it while I press it. To sugarcoat your donut, pour in one cup of sugar into a deep bowl. And while your donuts are still warm, place the donuts on the sugar. Turn and roll it on the sugar. Sprinkle some more sugar on the part that did not get the sugar. And that's it. You can decide to glaze your donut, fill in with jam or sugarcoat it. Here I decided to sugarcoat. Homemade donuts are really a treat, 
Please guys, you need to give this recipe a try and let me know how it turned out in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give your girl a thumbs up and share. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe for more simplified and detailed recipes like this. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye bye. Meanwhile, I have some donuts to eat right now.